Okay, thanks again, Nick. Good morning. So it's uh, Friday, 9th April. Find myself up at Kura, Kura Station. And we're going to go do these two Munro's, Kanjeric and the other one. Weather's lovely, lovely and sunny. Good forecast, should be clear all day. And very little wind at the moment. Uh, so we're up today with old Hemrun he's back out again yeah so a nice easy one from the day or two so you got an idea if <laughs> you plenty of time as I say we go off the train there at nine o'clock and we're train back down to Arloe is at half six so we've got nine and a half hours to do these two so we've got plenty of time. Just take it easy. Spend a wee bit of time up at the tops. And the view should be superb. Should only take us about eight hours, but like I say, we'll take our time. Spread out to about nine or something. And we're starting at 400 metres, so not too much in ascent for these. I tried to go on that sleeper a few months ago to do this and again you had to buy a ticket which I didn't but this time I bought a ticket but Dave didn't but it's meant to be just a usual Scotrail train until I checked when we got to Arlo ah beautiful and then I checked Arlo station it was a bloody sleeper that was coming through again but luckily there was spaces and a guy let us on the border so Stunning day to be up. Could take a big hen brown out again. Get him to stretch his legs, get him back in the mood for it. Well, see what he's like at the end of it. Might be a different story. Morning. Hello. Yeah, so this will be fork in the road. Left hand track will take you down to the youth hostel down there and we carry on along this one yeah so we're going to branch off to the right here now Dave up this way yeah. up this way this wee path all right Davey boys at it again and straight ahead I spend a lap with some home to keep for my last Munro and down here towards the end of the loch we've got these stunning mountains as well glorious Wee memorial plaque. Yeah, so this is where we're going to branch off up to the left, just up the kind of open hillside. So we'll stop, we'll have a wee break, get my poles out. Yeah, just over 600 metres. Views back. Still no breath of wind. Whew. Yeah, I have to see me path going up here. It's not too bad at all. Hen maroon up there. Superb view, is it? Can't beat it. Top. This is stunning. We're about eight, 840 metres. Pretty good going. The path's, path's kind of disappeared just now. 
Uh, Dave can't allocate it, so just heading up here, but it's been Dave pretty. Can't it? <laughs> I know I can't either. Uh -huh. Aye. With the GPS. Aye. So uh, the path's been pretty good up to this point, but it's fairly easy going. Yeah, so we've had a wee break, so we're just going to push on to the second one now. But, uh, what a viewpoint! Absolutely stunning. Some size of Cairn. Anyway, we'll push on to the second, just take our time. Let's go. Again, we've got our second row, Monroe just ahead. Beyond that, a big bulk with a bit of snow on it, Ben Alder. And to the left is the other four Monroes along that way. Hopefully, get them done fairly soon. I'll definitely get them done this year. So, this is at a low point before we start climbing. This is 722 metres, or 24 metres, and I think this one's about 9.51, so uh, just over a couple of hundred metres on the ascent to this one. All right, hmm, interesting. Uh, I'll maybe just go and skirt around the side here. See if we can get across without sinking in. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, I'm back on the path. That's the summit coming into view now. That wasn't too hard. Too nah, it wasn't too bad at all, Dave. Like you say, in the fog summits. Looked a lot worse. Aye, fell way back there. Yeah, so that's the summit, the second one. Great. I'll put a name up. That wasn't too long at all. Again, the views are superb. Nice wee breeze. So we'll have an hour wee rest here. And we'll push on. Yeah. Ah, uh, here's the first one just up there. What was that, two hours to get for the idea? Just under two hours, Dave. I think we got there at two, what, two hours 37? Aye. And that's four hours 17. So, 
So five hours to get back? Oh, I've plenty of time. time. Day and three, easy. Aye. That's two to kill, so we've got plenty of time here. Aye. Just take in the views. Yeah, so we've got five hours to get back to the train station. <laughs> but, should be all done half a hill or a wee locking down there, Dave, see it? Aye. Aye. Lovely. Quite a broad side. Yeah. Doesn't it have? Definitely. And as I say, that's uh, Ben Alder over there with the snow. Loch Ettrick. See how you're away in the distance. Yeah, so we've had a quick stop here, it's a wee bit chilly. So we're not going to hang about, we're just going to head down into the Canal Valley and get a wee bit of shelter there and have a break or two. As I say, we've got plenty of time. So we're just heading off here. Got everything? Yeah. So we again, we just go down to the low point. Uh, we got up that hill a wee bit and then you can sort of see the path traversing along the side there and then we'll probably drop down that shoulder up there Right, you might hold that first. You go, uh, you go first, then I. Huh? Three, three easy steps. Step one, get the bag over. Step two, act as though you've done it before. Uh -huh. I'm okay, I'm I'm out with Dave now, he's getting his leg over. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, no, it's coming now. As you eye. Let's get a laugh at you now. I just thought I'd put that one down somewhere, Dave. Aye. Right, right. Help me, Bob.
Oh, did you do the same as me? Oh. Hopefully we should see this path soon. Oh, I know. Is that not passed in there? Where? Uh, yeah, but I don't think it's yours. There's a signpost in there, huh? Where's it? Oh, Fitz has finally reached the road. That was a bit of a ordeal coming through that up and down, whatever. Oh, there we go. Christ, I can hardly got that last bit. Ah, oh, good stuff. So, it should be a decent walk for now, Dave. But I came from up there. I came from up there doing that kind of shoulder and then just basically kept to the edge of the forest. Ah, oh, lovely here. So that's... That takes you up to Glen Spine, Roy Bridge and that, that road right up through there. Aye. Oh, decent walking now. Yeah, two and a half, two and a half hours to kill. So we'll just take it steady, hopefully there'll be a cafe bar at the station's open. Just saying we could go a coffee and a scone. Yeah, we'll do it nicely. Sinking, sinking deeper. Oh, look at that water, eh? So clear. Five here. Eh? I just uh, say we're just having five here, man. Legs are aching. I think we've got what? Maybe a couple of miles to go, Dave? Aye. Aye. Youth Hostel's not that far away now. Yeah, lovely setting there, there, the Youth Hostel. Beautiful. Anyway, we've just been up to the B Junction, where we went this morning. Just up here where Dave is. Oh, at last it's coming into view. The old station. We're praying the tea rooms open. Probably will be. It'll be sold out everything. I know. And a long walk back for that kind of power station. Five miles. Oh, we're glad to get a seat. Aye, one to nine. Lovely latte. Just went in a rolling links sausage now, eh, Dave? Aye. There you go, Roy. A nice rolling links brown sauce. Kind of like it. Right, let's see.
Aye, so that's us back at the car. Long day. So I think uh, the times were excluding uh, the train journeys was uh, about eight and a half hours and about 24 kilometres. Cracking day. And as I say, the train journey was good as well. So we're just going to pack up the car, head down the road, get a Peroni. And uh, if you've watched this far, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next adventure. Adios.